well known for his contributions from the anchor desk here at WDSU. But Norman, what a lot of people also may or may not know is that you made a lot of contributions away from this busy newsroom. Heath Allen shows us what happens away from the station, and it's generally music to everyone else's ears. The New Orleans Concert Band is a volunteer group, and it part of its mission is to give back to the community. For lo these many, Norman has been a member of the New Orleans Concert Band. As he retires, he'll spend even more of his time with that group. The band, by the way, mostly professionals in other fields, donating their time and talent to make music for the rest of us. He takes it very seriously, and I always know when, when um, things are going well, because Norman is back there smiling during the performance. It's all about giving back. It's, it's really related to our telephone and to the children we take care of, and, and, and there's a thread throughout all our music that deals with, with our patients and, and the care that we provide at Children's Hospital. The patriarch of the Children's Miracle Network Telethon here in New Orleans for two decades plus, Norman has given his professional time and his talent. But again, behind the scenes, he's offered his skill on the euphonium to 11 songs written and recorded for Children's Hospital's fundraising efforts. Since day one, he's been on board. That's the ultimate goal, to make kids well and to say, uh, you know, goodbye and, and go live your life and, and be happy and, and inspire others and, and be creative and, and be imaginative. Norman and Brian Landry have been the soul men. They've held it together from the bottom with power in the horn section for all the Children's Miracle Network telephone songs. Long before all of this, Norman played in the United States Marine Corps Band, service to country, service to community, all through music. Music is certainly something people want to hear, but from the anchor desk, Norman has often had to say things people need to hear. Now, he has a new passion. Is this your first experience with Silverbacks? Yes. Now tell me about it, how you felt during the session. It's pretty good. It's been good. They they teach me things that I never thought I'd know. I mean, learn from a man that I rarely know. The Silverback Society, men of color, changing the lives of young boys of color without fathers, teaching them to march to the tunes of honor and respect, setting the example. When all is said and done, again, it's about giving back. I think that that's the thing that I appreciate most about the Silverbacks. That all of my boys, they really see a chance for a future, a real future, outside of doing the things that they see normally in, in the neighborhoods that they live in. Will it last? That's the million dollar question. It seems so with the backing of national organizations like the Kellogg Foundation, but the question is will other uh, foundations come through to help fund the program? Norman is not one to, to, to keep things to himself, when it, but it's almost always positive with him. Giving of himself, not asking for anything in return, and doing it for the right reason, and that's to help our kids. We are the beneficiaries of all of that. And we're, we've been lucky to have him, and we're going to miss him greatly. Generally, he's not one to blow his own horn, so this time, we'll do that for him. And on that note, Heath Allen, WDSU News.